All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Numbitten. Hey, Numbitten. My power has been flickering on, on and off, so maybe <coughs> I won't be here very long. Mm. I'm here now. Ghosts of trucks past. Uh, no, this time it's, it's, storm. Simple, it's, it's right. the storm. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 having uh, had just like, so it's been like mid 30s here, but it's just been constant for like the yeah. last two days. So like nothing stuck. It comes down as rain usually, but it has been constant. It's been doing the thing where it's like 50 degrees during the day and 20 during the Ooh, night. Okay. That, that, that always is uh, pain. So we're so what? So what is this? I don't understand what this is. What is a premier draft? I I, I believe, artifacts? I believe, we've made a fake set. We haven't made a cube. I don't think. Yeah, the a, a, an important distinction is that yeah. in a cube, there's one of every card. Yes. Uh, except for every once in a while, you have two brothers Yamazaki in a cube. Yeah, um, or or you know, uh, I've I've seen cube with double fetch lands. I had the coward's cube. He, uh, <laughs> he puts in double I've, I've, I've seen I've seen that, um, but this is like a this is a a set and like if I hit this, it seems, and this this seems like a uh, constructed it, out of other sets set. Yeah, I guess like, artifacts is probably the first thing you go to for something like this because what what art what what permanent type has had more sets about it than artifacts. I the, guess creature. Creature. <laughs> Although yeah. no, there's a there's exactly one that I can think of. Creature focused set it, uh, <laughs> it Legions. Legion. Legions is like the creature set. Every other set just has creatures in it. Well but. under that there's only one artifact set. It's called Antiquities. No uh, antiquities. So antiquities. Uh, Viridin, uh Fifth Dawn. Uh, <laughs> but not Dark Viridin, Steel. <laughs> dark, dark Steel. I was getting to it. Okay. Uh, Scars of Mirrodin. Uh -huh. Like all those. Uh, uh, yeah. Kaladesh. Well, There's like so I, many artifacts. I, I, I was saying by the line of legions. So if, if we're if we're to talk about legions, legions was a set that's 100% creatures. Yeah, all creatures. Every, every card. In antiquity is the, the set from 30 years ago at this point, basically. Um, every card in that set that doesn't tap for colorless mana does something with artifacts. Every single card in yes, that set. Yes, they do something 100%. with uh, like artifact blast. You, you, you have the, the a, a countering, countering artifact abilities, doing artifact things. Uh, much or like Alara Reborn, where every card was gold. Yeah. Um, every I guess that's the, that's the next most common concept gold. to have had sets about it would be multi. Okay, so cards. all right. So it is do we have more gold or do we have more artifacts? Mm. So like like with artifacts we get like you said mirrored and block scars mirrored and block uh, Kaladesh. Yeah, Kaladesh. Um, uh, you, you you get some odds and ends that are like, like, have an artifact yeah. focus, but maybe aren't a full. I don't know. Yeah, like Kamigawa Neon Neon Dynasty is split because it's like both artifacts right, and enchantment. Yeah, it's it's both. Um, whereas gold, like, you get every Ravnica, you get uh, you get, well, I mm, you get every you get every Ravnica except for murders. Yeah, you don't get murders, and um, like, but like debatably, you, you don't get War of the Spark. War, yeah, I'd, I'd give you that because like, you get Brothers War with the artifact set too. Yeah, oh, fuck, you're yeah, right, yeah, right. Brothers, Brothers War, Brothers War. of the Machines. Yeah, um, like, but like, gold gets gold also gets you like Invasion. You get Invasion. Uh, it gets you like you get... one of the domin like, like Dominaria United is basically that. That's like it's one of its things. Is yeah, and you get uh, you get cons you get the alara block you get uh i, I ain't giving you a coria oh, not, not a coria but you do get a new cap you do get new cap that's true so like that's, so, yeah, that's gold, probably the next gold has got to be a the concept next, yeah. rather than like a permanent type yeah I, I, the next permanent type like could you do lands 
What it was? Mm, mm. Well, there you get there you get two, I could think of because you, you get Zendikar. You get Zendikar. And then do you count that for Zendikar? <laughs> you get more Zendikar. <laughs> well, no, he had Awaken, so yeah. Yeah, you get more Zendikar. Yeah, you get more Zendikar. Anyway, anyway this is all about artifacts. Uh, all the, about artifacts. The, the thing about this that's different is that it makes it not a cube. Is that a, like we're gonna be opening a pack that's like uh, X commons, three uncommons, and a rare. Like like it's yeah. gonna be a structured pack rather than like. 14 random cards for I mimes. wonder if we'll, we'll we'll be able to see print runs. Mm. Yeah, the print runs of the manufactured, uh, the cultivated set. Manufactured print <laughs> runs. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about manufactured Nethesite. I, I think about, I, 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 it was something last week that got me thinking about manufactured Nethesite. Okay, Bankbuster. Okay, Bankbuster is a. That's just a card that every card. single deck can play. Um, Argothian Sprite. Hell yes. Okay, this card whips. This is like hella equipment yeah. or, or hella removal. I don't care about the yeah. equipment thing. Um, the uh, I remember Emergency Weld being like the Grave Digger. Like this was really powerful. Um, oh, we got. Remember these lands? Yeah, you get the Modern Horizons two lands. Yeah, but this one's a freebie. Um, the only card I'm really not like happy to send. I mean, I guess like the cleanup crew is actually like wild too. But let's, let's... a plundering pirate and his friend Prosperous Pirate. <laughs> okay, rare's gone. Drown and Icker. Drowning Nicker is very. There's also just a bone splitter mm. and Murren Force. Mm. Mm. Is this okay? Murren. Oh, yeah, Force. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What are we? There's. There, okay. There's a. Uh, are there? Like, are we in the world of ancient Din, Seat of the Sun? Uh, I think we're just. Or in is these. it just? See, or is it just the bridges? Because Murren Forcer is much better with uh, ancient Dens than it is. We also have bridges, but it's still good. Yeah. Yeah, the Arkbound Mouser. But yeah, this is also going to be good because, as we can see, there is a there are like one one counter things going on around here. Um, yeah, so it's... bone splitter mirror. I I want to believe in mirror enforcer. If it can't, like, this has got to be a world where this card's like still let's, silly, right? Let's, let's pick it. Okay, Gosh. ancestral blade. Ooh, war whip. I remember this thing being. Yeah, this is... abilities cost one less to activate. Quick retrace, double strikes. This is a three mana, a three mana two two double strike that uh, makes other things cheaper to equip. Yeah, Alloy Mirror is a friend of the show. The Alloy uh, Mirror uh, lets you cast yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's cast crushers. crushers. Very good at that. Um, this has. I don't, I, I'm not sure how much I like immediately going into. Uh, there's also a war. All right, there's a. There's a helix here. Mm. Like going going directly into two colors might be hard, but um, what if we what if we keep like again like, yeah, we're in the artifact cube? What if we keep open a little bit? What if we if the whip is powerful enough for us to go in on, we should pick it. But the yeah. alley mirror will be a useful piece of metal. Oh shit! Well, hmm. okay. Boros equip is what we're being told about. Yeah, renegade map is okay. It's yeah. like Metalcraft on that, well, fake Metalcraft on that thing. Yeah, this one's, uh, um, this is that good draw card, too. This is the, the one that comes with a... Hmm, you could do that. Yeah, that one comes out well. Um, or you could pick the Boros. I, actually, isn't Briarbridge Patrol really good? Uh, deals damage, investigate, three clues, search for, uh... Okay, it's it basically if he if if uh, it tangles in combat or fights, I'm gonna, it. Uh, I'm gonna ignore. Ornithopter of Paradise. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does that bat do? Is that bat just like a three one? If you have a yeah, it's a three one. If you are an artifact, that's not bad. I'm I'm sitting here looking at like pile of like. We're we're open, and I'm just I'm feeling the waves out still. We have look like this yeah. is fixing, this is fixing. We can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. 
just like let's just pick powerful card like we have let's pick powerful cards we investigate we start clue mill three okay that's uh that's a silly card okay blaze hmm there's even the, the red has been like pretty yeah red seems pretty open what is that uh secrets of the key is like uh, investigate and infest yeah so it's yeah. just like if i think twice we could go with the fleeting memories and build towards that that's uh that's very when, bad that's pretty that's pretty bad although notably fleeting memories doesn't care if you sacrifice the the clue to draw the cards mm -hmm. i mean ongoing investigation oh mm. although this that card is the problem of uh you're just gonna win through combat damage yeah don't care about the green activation it's it's just uh green activation's good it's just it's like know. a coastal piracy with a different text all right i will detective claw is always going to although the crab does not uh cap does not pilot the record the uh the bank buster no well all right. He is having, also, he is having now millions of welding sparks. Welding sparks. Is good. I'm being told a lot to go into red, and I'm trying to ignore it, but like, it's not working. So I probably shouldn't ignore it. Okay, pick up the welding sparks. Also the bridge, but the splitter, the, the axe is also okay. So we demand answers is sick. Oh, this is even second artifact. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we've passed around too much. This is like a million thing. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. It's Confinity for Artifacts, and then it's it's Dig Through Time for Artifacts. If it's not good here, when is it going to be good? We'll place Tap Seat of the Synod. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, we have powerful cards. Definitely should have picked over into. I didn't want to go into red because of some of the stuff we had already passed up that I was a little too like. Hmm. Okay. We have uh, we have some stuff. We've got. We do have Silver Bluff Bridge, which I feel like we shouldn't pick those too highly. I don't know. I'm I'm wondering how good they are because like having metal around what? feels really useful. I'll go ahead and pick it then. Well, I don't know what I'm. I was just yeah. guessing because we've been seeing them go kind of late, but because it feels like there's one in every pack. That's what I, think there, I think there is one in every pack. I think you're right there, but I think that means more of a reason. Ooh, these are good stuff too. Yeah, so it's like the Gun Save Artisans, all right. But yeah, we we won't. We got Mirror Enforcer, so we're not going to be sad about having. Yeah, uh, I want to uh, find like kind of big top endy things to do if we've got like ramp and draw, you know. Like see, the... I want to find cityscape leveler. <laughs> that has to be in here, right? Um... Why do they have that's? Why is that in that card? In... Not that the uh, the helix. The helix is because this is from Kaladesh. It's from Kaladesh, but it's just a black lightning helix. Uh, Steel Seeker is really dope. I remember this card being busted, right? This card is really um. That's a good creature. The the uh, the halberd is. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Is that it's like a good two that like plays well. If I, if that Steel Seeker wheels, we're gonna be three color, but <laughs> we're probably gonna get that fiery intervention. Splitter's okay. There's there's Wave Sifter, which is not Moldrift. Pirate Hat cares specifically about pirates, right? Yeah, that cares about pirates, which we're not, like, super in on. This is Bounce at Sorcery. Eh. I kind of want a Moldrift. I know you want a Moldrifter. Then, then go ahead and pick it. I, I, have a, I just hate Wave Sifter. Uh, only bad decks play it. That's <laughs> my bias again. Dance, huh? Dance, huh? Well, we have an alloy mirror and a mirror enforcer. Yeah, and, and the razor's head bridge. Let's just, doesn't this card like win the game on resolution if it's excess? Yeah, this this card wins the game on resolution. So we have to okay stuff like uh, stern lesson is going to be important. Mm. And actually, Demand Answers. Hell yeah! Demand, answers, I was saying, demand, demand answers is the card I'm thinking of. Um, well, Stern Lesson is draw two, discard one, right? Like, this is a... Uh, yeah, this uh, is a... 
uh, catalog, not catalog. What is it called? The one I was, the one that they reprinted in, in the Strad. Um, we plunder. We can just pl grab a bridge to make wave sifter better. Um, what does the companion do? The 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 cartographer's companion. Uh, makes a map. Make a map. Okay, that's that's two pieces of metal. Yeah. Um. Plunderers, you could just pick the the bridge. It, it's your red. It's your another green source for wave sifter. I'm kind of grabbing a go. bunch of these to get the deck like metal, but I'm worried <laughs> we might not have too much on the main. Maybe this is. I was right. It was catalog. Oh no, Bullshocks. If you want to pick metal, Bullshock Splitter is just fine. Oh well. That's a two drop. That's a two drop. Perilous Mirror is a two drop too. Perilous Mirror also pretty good. Rebuke. I don't like that Perilous Mirror became a Phyrexian. He's just hanging There's out. He's just a mirror hanging out. He's, he was just there. Okay. Uh, Tawashi's going to be more aggressive. Perilous Mirror is more attack, like not attacking, but more like stuff. All right. What is Chrome Prout Flash? Tap the creature. Tap. Okay. It's, it's a frost. Yeah. Uh, flashback you twice. Yeah, we have a. Uh, see that or two pieces? They're both two pieces. Of yeah, metal. they're like multiple metal, no matter what. Um, sure. Carrier's a little under the Mendoza line. Pirate set might be something we're actually interested in. It yeah. loots, right? Yeah, it loots on hit. Or I'm it's sorry, not on hit man. on attack. Yeah, it's, it's it's copter text. Although maybe not block. Copter is stupid. And sure. I want more. I want more pieces of main deck metal for the mans. If we can find like another demand answers and some stuff. Yeah, demand answers is really dope. As always, the card I want is experimental synthesis. Yeah, that's a good card. Taste of death. That's where the apples came from, everybody. Wouldn't it be really funny if they put Gorilla Shaman in this? <laughs> Luckily, these lands are indestructible, but... Uh, what's that Arcbound Tracker do? Double spell. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Every spell passed one. Yeah. Hmm. He's just like a guy. Yeah, I don't think this is worth it. Voreg is really cool, but, like, we're not green enough. Yeah, that's a mistake. Mishra, huh? Mishra, claimed by a gex. Smelter is okay. Plundering Pirate, hmm. okay. You know, the affinity for... It's funny. Look at... Look at, <laughs> look at, look at Gear Seeker Serpent. Uh -huh. Let everybody see it. Uh -huh. Now show everybody... Mer uh, yeah, uh, mirror enforcer. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Spyra, mm -hmm. Siren is very good. Mutt's good, as we mentioned. Yeah, Scrap more Scrap or Mutt's very good too, but are you just sit here for a big guy? Gear Seeker we... Serpent was like a mainstay common of Kaladesh. Yeah, I remember that one being a beat. Ooh, here's a demand answers. Scalawag is very good, but you have to be able to descend. Yeah. Blood, can... like blood fountains here too, man. We got all the classics. Yeah. <laughs> Icker Wellspring. Icker Wellspring. We have two demand uh, answers. Do we, have, do, do we have anything else that sacks an artifact? Mm, no. Candy no. Trail might be better. This candy trail is like a very expensive fear day. Eager Wellspring is very good with uh, stuff, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Outpost okay. Siege. At the beginning of your end step, if what? Uh, if you didn't play the card. Make a Power Stone. Make a Power Stone. Okay. Do we just want like an Outpost Siege in our deck? Yeah. Kind of like funny. Outpost Siege? There's this. There's one drops and two drops here. Yeah. I gotta look and see if that Chrome Courier is a Mole Drifter or not. It's not. It, 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 it like top twos. 
I have to pick up a bridge. Fire intervention is removal. <laughs> we did pass all of the removal in pack one. Yeah, our, our we have a welding sparks to our name. Uh huh. Yeah, big guy. Map is also fine. Yeah, maps maps just okay. There's the demand answer. More answers are demanded. We we just picked up an Icker Wellspring and Wow. Wow. Hmm. Okay, are we really a cartographer's companion deck? That's two pieces of metal. Maps are okay. Yeah. Well, Why not play? Oh, uh, well, we got a better prosperous pirate. Yeah, because this is the one that makes a treasure. Yeah. I brought up a uh, prosperous pirate because that's a horn turtle that does the same thing. Like X. Well, yeah, because nobody in that color combination. This card is like a beating and a half. Yeah. You know what I'm. I mixed up. Prosperous Pirate is a five minus three four that makes two. What's the Horn Turtle that makes one? Um, no, oh, I, I I don't remember the name of that one, but I know which one you're talking about, right? The. All right, I'm I'm just I'm Scryfall to me. Sailor of Means. Okay. Under Pirate Welding Sparks, Fixer of Fixio. Dance of the Mance. We're gonna play the Wave Sifter and then we'll put in all of these buddies up top for now. Um, I need to cut three from this deck. Okay, let's first look at our off colors. So we have white and, gr and green. Yeah, we have, we have like enough like random fixing for those that I don't feel bad like including them, but mostly because with um with dance of the mans like this is a card we're playing on like turn like a million, yeah. So there being like one or two like ways of doing it, the wave sifter might be a little bit of a reach. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. And it's also, like, like, this is probably a... a, a oh, yeah, Fleeting Memory sucks. I, that could just go out immediately. I picked, picked it, that as a joke. I picked it, like, hoping that it could work, but it's very clear. Well, let's, let's put like, the Giant in here, too. That card's actually, like, good. Um, so, so the reason I like I, I like Cutting Wave Sifter is suddenly two forests disappeared from our Suggestion pile. Yeah, I'm still keeping the bridge. Yeah, bridge, bridge is fine. Because, um, like, metal is real in this deck. Two cuts. You could probably get away with one cut. Um. Okay, we probably want to cut a non-creature then. Uh, Bone Splitter is like really good, but it is an equippy. Yeah. There's secrets of the key. I like that it's just a bunch of draw and a bunch of metal. Um, Hexfield Helper is great. Like, Arc Brown Trackers and Chrome Prowler both are kind of medium power, or like medium low, but... Um, they're guys. The blue yeah. is so much less real than I thought in this, looking at where we were. I should have picked over into Gruul around back two. Green was more open than I thought. I, I I was a little bit more committed to blue because of like the this stuff and honestly dance. This is the card that makes me like want it. Um, because this card is like you you play this and you just get like a million bodies. Um. Do we have any other bridges or is this uh? We have um. Yeah, off color. Off color bridge, but. Don't play much. those and play Legac. <laughs> okay, that actually does. I don't think I want the Legac still. I'm just playing these because I think the metal's worth it. I think. We have. Gear Seeker and Mirror Enforcer, and Enrage 
giant, which does not benefit from bridges. Yeah, we have the 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 blade master wants to fake metal crafts. Um, the ability to sack things out to like demand, demand answers. Answer. Let's you sack lands. Uh, what does shipwreck sentry do? I don't care. Let's just fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I feel like I needed to swap over to Gruel halfway through pack two, or maybe a little earlier. I know that I know that the red early was really strong, and I yeah, was. I think I, I think I think it, it took until the welding sparks for us to realize red. We yeah. kept seeing those like shocks That's and fine. stuff. But we're feeling it out. We're just looking around. We're just being all loosey goosey. Mm -hmm. We don't know things. We're, getting, we're 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 just letting it roll around. All right. We can beat up an elf's best. That's fine. Yeah, you got it, boss. I, I, are you prepared to attack to attack for two with an O3 crab on turn two? Uh, that that I'm that sure. might, Yeah, the the song the song safer is probably better. Boy, the crab. Deployed. Actually, can I get this on three? Uh, play out spell. Sh uh, yeah, we could do that on three. Is <laughs> it a clue? Because like, no, it, well, it's one, two, three, four, five. Not there yet, <coughs> but it's close. Okay, so we're gonna just ba bash in with uh. Yeah, this is bash in with like. Song Shaper plus Crab. That's actually a really good draw, too. It's a very good draw, because it will trigger the Song Shaper. So... Plop that down. Let me put the Splitter on the Crab. Yeah. Alright! The it reminds, beat <laughs> It reminds me of Kraken Hatchling with a trusty machete. Yeah. The more things change, the more they stay the same. My card's tapped. Ah, uh, not for long. <laughs> That's actually extremely uh, flavorful. They untap yeah. Traxxas with a Mishra artifact. All right, well, we get to, like, I guess, fiery intervention that. Uh, yes. Because it destroys so guess... artifact. <laughs> Although, we're kind of in a pickle here. Are we playing the giant... And like passing, we can't play the gear seeper. If we want to be able to blow up Traxos, we have to play Slagwood's Bridge this turn. Yeah, I think we're playing the giant then in passing because we want to be able to blow up the Traxos. Yeah, we have a fully discounted serpent. That's nice. I do love this. <laughs> Pretty good. Mishra's bobble. Alright. Well, I didn't see any counter spells while you we were drafting. I wonder what kind of counters there are. I saw one we passed up. Um, it was like a counter on his faith three, I think, for three. I forget the. Uh, the was it was the improvised. improvised. Yeah, the improvised. Metallic, metallic rebuke. Yeah, that's that the one I. That makes total sense. Wait, what is. What the hell are you? Do? What? Ah, I see. Oh. You know, we passed this up a couple times. I just plum didn't read it. Eh. Getting priority because of their niche was bobble. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, options we have. We can play Serpent and Halberd and just, like, tangle with a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. I guess it'll be an 8-8. Eight, eight. Like, move the Bone Splitter over here. Or we can just kill Traxos. And we can still... Tr we can still tangle with an 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm gonna go like this and move the, the Bone Splitter over. Uh, 
What's yeah. up? What's up? Nothing. I'm just gonna uh, just. Okay. Like the pl the plunderer is minimum going to be an eight eight next turn, so the seven power on the serpent might not help that much. Also, the serpent is kind of a good creature. Well, the, the the setup on the serpent as well here is that we can like perhaps get it like just in twice at seven power. Yeah. Had. And, and Traxos, right? Like, yeah. we do have to worry about that one. So Plunder ch gets chomped by Crab. We blow up Traxos. Yeah, I don't think Plunder attacking here makes any. This is, like, really great. For, I mean, it gets their, their hat, surely, but I feel we, like... We just block with the Crab. Yeah, because Traxos I mean, tramples. This yeah. doesn't. I'm surprised they didn't attack with Traxos. They must be out of artifacts. Mm, they they might be like also like like just looking at how much power we have on the board and they're at fourteen like valuing that more. The serpent is okay. They are tapped out. Okay. They love to see it. Okay. Uh, improvise is not affinity. They have to have a blue source in order to actually counter it. So Traxos is dead. And we can and we can jump with hex gold halberd token. Yeah. In fact, I'm, I, I, I'm kind of feeling the... No, we, we, we hold Tawashi back. I'm surprised they didn't push that bobble a little earlier, but... They wanted the power. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Sadly not playable on the turn. Um... Yeah, we have, to, we have to kill Traxos. All right, and then, like, in with the Seeker Serpent and the Giant? I believe so. That insulates just some from removal spell. They will chump this turn. They'll still take four. I'm sitting here thinking if I want to go further, if I want to, like, put Song Shaper in. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do some calculation. They would uh, need to make three four more artifacts plus a removal spell to kill i'm gonna if we're gonna i think if we're attacking we attack with everything like if we're, if we're attacking with it with it with the song sh shaper we should attack with the halberd because they'll jump the seven six take six seven eight and then the gear serpent is lethal next turn mm. we just have to commit to taking like Nine, ten damage minimum. I'm a little worried on that. Well, no. That's yeah, because I don't think because uh, just putting the, the the two from the spell shaper doesn't do anything. Well, the thing here too is that this removes another piece of metal off the board yeah, too. Like so now that, that's a seven seven. So they like need that force to jump. They need seven, like they need six artifacts to kill here. Uh, what is the activation on Serpent? Six. We don't have it. Yeah, we're an untapped land away, but we yeah. have a bunch of tap lands. Yeah, we have a bunch of tap lands. Sure. Okay. They should absolutely attack. If I'm worried out of that. I'd worry out of them because look at their life total. Yeah, but I think their only way out of this is to race. All right. Um, the halberd doesn't actually give power. No, it gives so first strike and trample. Trample. Um, I think we mirror enforcer. I think we eat our clue. Which means I guess we play mirror enforcer, then eat our clue. Yeah. Because we're looking for lands. Like uh, that. Okay. So we have this next turn if we untap. What does Walking Skyscraper do? X proof trample. Eight, eight. Okay. So it's trample. Luckily, we can take eight. Yeah. And their plunderers does not have trample. 
Sorry, what is the defender losing clause on R33? Uh, having four, or having an artifact come in. Okay. Which a reasonable is... chump creature. Yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, that, you, guys. that only grabs artifacts and it does reveal them. It's still a dig to time. Yeah, so that is a... Ooh, they got Patchy? Hell yeah. Patchwork, Automaton, and uh, Foundry. Their deck is really good. Yeah, they've got some strong the, synergy. I did the, not rec I did not like recognize the power of Dead Eye Plunder. Oh, Scrap Trawler. Scrap Trawler. Uh, banned card spotted. <laughs> it's so sad that they're completely dead. Oh yeah, they're they're, they're they're look, this is the power of Gear Seeker Serpent. What do you want? <laughs> we were so we I we we would be so cold to a patchy on turn 2. We would have been so dead to that. However, we drew our good creature, so we win. <laughs> Bonk. That's how many games of Kaladesh Limited went. Yep. Because you get you get a board full of one ones and Servo Expedition. This asshole. Yeah. Oh, you got a ball. Oh, this deck, like compared to what our opponent was doing, I I, I feel we were out. Our, you know, out our deck was certainly <laughs> less powerful than theirs. Yes. I would be willing to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. However, our opponent uh, made some cowardly decisions. I think they really needed to pressure us. Like, yes, if you looked at the power we had and the life total that they had, yes, they were in danger. But the fact that they actually had an ornithopter is what makes me feel like they needed to be more aggressive because that's just like a free trump on like. Six power or something, right? Like because the... the way they were playing is they need some like the only way the they the way they played made sense is if they were drawing to a way to kill the Gear Seeker Serpent, but uh this hand is fine. Yeah, this hand's good. Um play uh tap land on and then uh oh copter. It's... Uh oh. It's fine, bro. It's fine. Uh oh. <laughs> now that's aggro. Now that's the beatdown. Oh, Dr. Kirk would never do a sturdy like that. <laughs> Dr. Kirk's gonna give us the Kirk. Like, we're gonna. <laughs> our, our spine is gonna get over. Ways in which Secrets of the Key is not as good as Hard Evan. Mm. Well, Secrets of the Key sees play in a. Uh-huh. Okay, so... Uh, Revoker is not Pithing Needle. It can name mana abilities. Right, but... <laughs> oh, we don't care. Yeah. Oh, we care, but... Oh, I care, but, like... Right, what am I doing here? Uh, drawing Welding Sparks and escaping this game. Sure. You know, sometimes I you get to use that power for good. I don't get to. You get to. That's <laughs> very important that you get to. I think that secrets of the key is free. We can play it on the same turn we play the giant because mm -hmm. mono neutral. You think this only buys us a turn because now they can just put Move. the axe on I know. the pirate or the or the revoker. <laughs> Although we can put the axe on our uh Ornithopter. On our Ornithopter. That's a blocker. <laughs> it, it will block. <laughs> oh, two mana it's getting shot. It's getting shot. It's getting one mana shock. No, okay. Country inspector. It's getting a shot. Card that is playable in in vintage. Makes sense. 
Wow, that's gotta be a first pick in this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? They didn't attack with the revoker. <laughs> okay, sure. I need. We're so dead. Oh yeah, we're we're dead as heck. I'd improvise the bridge and the bridge. Okay. See, now they get rewarded for mono attacking. Yeah, I mean... Final card in hand is... Oh We're so dead. That one's, uh... This one's quite good. For one, it's just a flying attacker. <laughs> yeah, it's a three-power flyer. And I can, like, recycle for Rexian Revoker. Um... We can block and sack the Ornithopter. We can play out the Bank Buster. We can eat our clue. Let's see how much cowardice we have out of our... Nope, okay, I wanted a little bit more cowardice out of our opponent, not gonna lie. I believe we are dead. As we play Arcbound Tracker, we block. No, we go to. No, yeah, we die. They just attack with all creatures. We block the 2 3 and the 3 2, and we take 5 and die. Let's hope they have cowardice in their heart. I think this player is a little head set. I don't think Kirk is a coward. Although I'm willing to be proven wrong. They can just also activate Bray as Apprentice for plus two power. It's like the safest <laughs> move. I don't know, I need full control on. <laughs> okay. We are thinking deeply. Okay. And committed. Okay. We elect to pass. I'm just gonna sit on those. Don't do it. Just just take me hit me for three and pass. It's fine. Crap. No! <coughs> okay, go tap tap concede. <laughs> Okay, so we uh we have we were coming to terms with the fact <laughs> that our deck is full of tap lands and two removal spells. Oh yeah, absolutely. Our opponent played like four power one drops. Um I think we were in that if we could survive one more turn. Like if we I'm also coming to the realization we have no flying creatures, so that's, that's we, also we, a our problem. deck has a lot of problems. Um, you can, I feel like you could either have a lot of remove, like no removal <laughs> or no. no flying creatures, but one or the one or the other. Uh, this hand's fine. It's got the it's got the combo. It's got the combo. So like, what else do we want? I blew mana, but hey, 
Look who showed up. Alright, we play that we play the bridge, I'm pretty sure. We Bone Splitter is a fine play the turn you need it. Yeah. It's I'm, cheap. I'm sitting here overthinking that one pretty hard. Oof. That's good. Uh, what's the activation on Bankbuster? Two. And we want to get our mana out underneath this. Mm hmm Ooh. They missed a land drop. Do you want to put Bone Splitter on Ornithopter of Paradise and attack? And, I mean, that doesn't let us play either of our guys. No. But, uh, they missed a land drop. We can set up our, our draw stuff later. Let's... Okay. Uh, screeching. I guess a better guy to put the bones put on. Like, Wellspring and... So we draw so much billion. value on our hand. We draw our removal spells, and our yep. opponent missed a land. I know, out. right? All these things. Everything's, everything's looking a mill out. That's a dead now, you, card. Yeah, you, you do something probably, but I probably couldn't care what it is. That okay? The art on that looks like it's some kind of like crossover with like Stranger Things. I don't know why. Now let's murder it. Uh, okay, we if we're going to do that, no, we have uh, we have two art, we have fake metal crap, so we know we can eat ours, we can eat our uh, yeah, Victor wellspring all we want. Okay. In for six. In for six. The whammo. Okay. We kill the next blocker and then do it again. Yep. Okay, four. We might be able to make our brazen blade master uh, explore using our map token. Oh, they're, they're gonna kill our guy. Right. That's, that's gotta be like dead to a fight spell, right? If it's a fight spell, that'd be actually really good. Ah, that's. No, they just have lightning helix. Lightning helix, pretty good. All right, um, so we just want, like, we want a guy, we make the companion, we could play, draw, bank buster. Murdering their bat seems a bit like a spew. Yeah, I don't like that one. I'm thinking, like, bank buster. Past that. Like I'll trade. We're we're up enough mana that that's fine. Yeah, we're we're up cards, so it makes we have more lands and play. So it makes sense for us to trade resources when we're ahead. Especially when we have a draw effect still like coming down. They've got a food. They have Okay. All right. Those cards must be like incredibly high picks because we didn't see a single one of them in the draft. Which makes sense. I would first pick a. Mm, don't like that. That doesn't do anything here. Like we're Are just... we really going to blow up that bat? I think we have it's to. It's a 3 1 in the air. Like it's kicking our ass. Yeah. Alright, we're out of removal. <laughs> If it's just ground pounders, we can tangle. 
you know, we can, like, bone splitter on things. And... Although, green, black... Oh, God, that's a good creature. Green, yeah. black is the color of Sarah Angel, so, I mean... True, we should, they'll, we should be on the lookout for it. That is a worry. Right, get a map. Um... Yeah, we tangle. We got our draw open, we got our draw open, and we got our draw open. What more could you want? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, suddenly their deck makes sense. Yeah, I see. Food, huh? Food, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh oh. What I'm learning, what I'm learning is you do have to. Uh... Oh wow, they're cowards. That's weird. They didn't want to deal three damage to us so that their foods can start cooking. Uh, I don't. We don't have. We don't have time for visions. Okay. Yeah, we can do everything here. We demand away the power stone. Yeah, or like the yeah, the power stone is the weakest of our mana pieces. So it was the best game Capcom made for the Dreamcast, but it's dis it's disposable. All right, we're we're rolling. Yeah, we are rolling. Um, okay. Question: Do we wake up the bank buster with the mirror enforcer and attack with it? We'll push in with like. Yeah, cause, like they're going to win if we don't put pressure on them. I think we get in with the. We definitely get in with the companion. And then we can like put the claw on the crab or the the bone splitter on the crab. But like, I think I've, I think, I think we're out right. of this I game is right. to like. Just to, like, the end game, the, the part of this game where we win is we put the axe on our menace creature and kill them. Because what's the sack on the on the sweet tooth witch? Uh, two mana, two life. So they can deal six damage to us next turn, just off their. And we're gonna take two here, so we're 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 taking we're going down to. Uh, Terrible. That's, that's dreadful. And we're not drawing it, at least. Yeah, I just, that was a point where we really wanted a, another. We really wanted a spell. Yeah, Yeah, we wanted a spell very badly. <laughs> okay. They're going to trade with the bank buster. That one's like the most obvious block that I've ever seen in life. Right? Yeah. And then we move over on crab. Yeah, because we can still crack our clue and do that. That keeps the witch at home. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we go to get, nine. Get, get to nine. There's not they don't have enough food to kill us on spot. No. And they don't have enough mana to do it either. Uh, and if we force a chump with the witch, they can't do it anymore, so. Yeah. But they have. Oh god. <laughs> okay. So landfall, make a, a, a food. Probably, they might make the treasure if they want to deploy two cards here. They already can. I think they're just going to deploy. Because they have three amount of card. They have three amount of wolf, and well, then they have mystery card. All they have to do right now is untap, and they win. We're at nine. The other problem is they can also just eat some food. <laughs> Right, but the, well, they need enough bodies to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well. I, I like know. that the cartographer's companion can attack here. That's also very good. Okay. How was that? Okay. Okay. We can. We can. Can we play the halberd and the giant? 
Yeah, because we can like just tap bone splitter. Okay, because we can tap the halberd as well. We might be able to equip the halberd for that's such three extra mana. It's like we play mountain. Play okay, so, so it's like play mountain. Play it's, halberd. It also pumps the tracker. Yeah, that's. He improvised then, using the halberd of the bone splitter. Um, bone splitter, halberd. Uh, and then, geez. uh, that does let us move the. That does let us equip halberd. So we equip halberd to. Mirror enforcer or the arc or the tracker. So right now we're attacking for. A total of. 18. So I think we put it on the mirror enforcer because if they double block, like yeah, yeah, we put it we put it on mirror enforcer because that's the biggest chunk of damage yeah. without trample. Yeah, and and if, they have to, if, they, if they have to trade with the arcbound tracker, that is fine. Although, what happens if they just eat two food? They go to 17 and die. They go to 17. They go to 17. They block. Grab. Take 16. Go to one. But then we're poke on. Us, poke us to seven with one food. Eat the other food. Poke us to four with the witch. And then poison us, poison us. We're dead. Okay. Well, but this was this. This no, is they, our best attack. No, though. they don't have enough food for that. Now they eat one, and then poke us. They no, they have enough. They have five food. They only have to eat. Oh, they have to eat two food here. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to eat two food here. Oh no, that's still. They have. Then they have three food left if they poke us with poke us with poke us with an attack with a witch. We have a two two. We have a two two. You're right. Okay. Seems like they're thinking what I was thinking now. They have to gain all the life. So if they, so if they go to one. Are we gonna put that? We could put, yeah. Put that on our, uh, on our guy. I mean, it, it scarcely matters, but you may as well. It makes a fight not kill us. Okay. Because now they can like, you know, they can um, crack food, crack food, crack food. Put us to three attack, but we have a blocker. They would need to have one mana removal. Two mana okay. removal. Okay, they, it's possible at this stage. I think that giant won us the game. Of all the cards we could find, a hasted the, the, that enough. hasted trample creature that put a one one counter on our arc bound. Uh -huh. Arc bound tracker has been pretty good. I'm I, yeah, I think we I think we misjudged that card because you're both like yeah maybe it's kind of okay but all right okay it'll be telling whether they. Spend six mana here or not. I think we've got them. Now, the, the, the Arcbound... So, the Arcbound Tracker, all the Arcbound cards from... Um, this is Modern Masters. The, um, I think it was MH... I think it was MH... It might have been MH2. From, all those cards from MH2 are, like, wild. That, that was actually a really powerful limited deck. In that. <laughs> Hell yes! Nah! Still had all these! Still had! <laughs> this is the other draw that, like, I think could get us out of where we were. Dance is one reason to make trades. Like, we'd have Ornithopter and Iker Wellspring. <sighs> yeah. Actually, trading the Bank Buster is that good, too. <sighs> Every game. I played well, a lot of. I played a lot of Dance, Doom, Foretold, and Standard when that was the deck. Mmm. It was one of the ways you uh, coped with all the Yokos is you just I want to play a fun deck instead of that stupid blue green deck. A jerk. Is that or like try to be the? the or was it bad red aggro deck? Bad red. I was gonna say I'm trying to think of the one one champion. You know the one. You know the one. The the the, the yeah. like fervent. As I, as I think at that at that point, uh, lightning strike had just rotated. 
if you would try you were trying really hard to get like fervent champion plus like like you had to, you had after oko got banned you did have the combo of uh ember cleave and, and yeah Axe. yeah the the, the, the the speed run I and keep boy that, when you got to do that it felt so good i keep that in my cube because i think it's very funny it was so good and then you had like one ones that died and did one damage to anything with Torbjorn. <laughs> Bellissimo. All right. These games have given me a lot better idea of what the hell this cube is supposed to like, what your deck wants to look like. This card's wild. That's that's. that's <laughs> hmm. It's like it's like Glint, not Glint, Hog, Glint Nest Crane. Well, we shall play an Ornithopter of Paradise. Mm. We will behold our power. And then I will play a Brazen Blade Master and a... Pass, <laughs> actually. Yeah, yeah Metalcraft, though. Sure. Actually, it's fake Metalcraft, so it's metal crap. Yeah, it's only two. We One for each hand. We have that easy. He holds a bridge in each hand. I'm, I'm, I'm taking two, thanks. Piker will... We'll do with Piker too. Yeah, I mean, Piker that drew you a card off your top four. I'm like, that's a, that's real. Um, Halberd Hard Evidence. Halberd Hard Evidence is pretty good. I'm gonna metallic rebuke this. That'd be fine. More things for dance. Like we're getting, we're we're you know. I love hard evidence. Everybody loves the crab. Yeah. Are we? Uh, they're gonna metallic rebuke a hard evidence. Are we? Did we get encountered? Here? I mean, I suppose they did not play their brawler last turn. No. Are we looking at bounce spells? What are we looking at? We're looking at Metallic Rebuke, that's what I'm, I'm assuming, is just like Metallic Rebuke on crap, but like... Okay. So I, until that Cog Brawler is out of their hand, I don't want to get the 2-2 two -two into the fight with... Oh, um... they, okay, then it's... Oh, okay. They just had a Chrome Brawler. Sure. And they were looking at him like, oh, I, my 2-2 two -two gets blocked by a 3 is what they were thinking. Yeah. Next turn's like Blade Master. Honestly, Bank Buster, if I could activate it, would be really nice looking. You can also do the cow you can also do the non-cowards plan of playing Iker Wellspring trying to draw a land. Speaking of cowards. Okay, we're not a coward. We just drew our land, so we can just play play whatever you want. Behold a 4-4. Four, four. On attack. <laughs> <laughs> and you can block with a Bank Buster. Yes, that's actually the big threat here, is that they no longer can, like... Yeah, so I that's mean... the 4-4 four, four I was meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they kill it, that's fine. We're, we got Dance of the Man. They're literally feeding us. It's fine. Ah, Gigante. We're that scared. Uh, okay. Yeah, if we play Wellspring, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can play Giant if we Wellspring. That's good. Our opponent has passed on, like, free-looking attacks with that Chrome Prowler twice now. Eh, we would have blocked with our 2-2. Well, I mean, last, like, well, they're holding a minus two, minus O oh trick, though. Oh, the brawl what does Brawler do? Minus two power, flash, one, 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 two. Ah, I um, see. But 
Also, last turn they had an ability to attack 3 2 into our crab and just didn't. Well, Tasha doesn't normally deal with artifacts. She doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah, that's fine. We have a giant. Giant's pretty cool. Now we don't have a giant if they counter our different <laughs> It's true. <laughs> we have. <laughs> Alright, what's our. What are we looking at here? What I love to draw a. Oh, that's a good. It wasn't the card I was going to call, but that's a good one. I was calling out uh, Demand Answers. Yeah, Demand Answers is what I'm also looking for with that Edgar Wellspring. Because it gets the Wellspring in the grave. I would actually be tempted to Demand Answers on the Halberd. Of course, the Wellspring gets you more cards, but the Halberd is better to dance. The Halberd is better on the dance. Well, it's just a 2 2. So every cards is better. I ain't attacking. You ain't attacking, I ain't attacking. We can wait. I got better draw than you right now. We have Gear Serpent, like, whatever. If they're just gonna, like, not do anything all turn. See, the reason this place are Whoa! benefit and not theirs Ooh. is, uh, <laughs> just got a 4-4. Is they've been passing without doing anything, whereas we've been passing while advancing our board. Speaking of. You can still play Serpent. Go get him, boys. Yeah, Bone Splitter's a very good draw there. It lets us do some heavy pushing. And they also tap their blue instead of paying two life there. So they no longer have the uh, combat trick active. And Maga told us that they don't have any spells they can play because they ought to pass priority. Cool. That chope is a little thirsty. They're literally at 20. Yeah, like the, the trade makes sense. I thought that we'd be double blocking. Trades make sense, but that, that chump didn't. Anyways, I'm good. You are a good creature. Yeah, I know. We, we drew both our good creatures. <laughs> Gi Giant's pretty good. Giant's been like... It's actually funny. His name does not... in in It does not mean that he would at all be interested in artifacts at all. He's just enraged. But that means that he likes artifacts. Yes. They should have uh, had the art like having him be like holding a printer he was crushing. Format of sweepers. No idea. Uh, yeah, we saw a super sacrifice. We saw the triple. Yeah, we saw the uh, like each player sacks three. You make three food. Um, something like something. If they just wanted, if they're going to include uh, lightning helix, they may as well include fumigate. <laughs> that would make sense. Ah, behold. I love Cogwork Wrestler. This card was like one of the most workhorse. Okay, uh, what was that All card right. they just played? All right, uh, we were asking about Rads. Does damage each creature equal number of artifacts that are put into the pet? Did they? They had to. They had to play the. They had to play the wrestler so that they could have an artifact to like do six to kill the guy anyways we're gonna ruin their fucking life with this stands of the man's yeah they needed enough to get the gear sick or serpent out of there mm, that's funny we... okay one two we have six we can mance on four like, be... we don't even care. they can draw the card who gives a shit mance on four would be bank uh, a bank icker wellspring hex gold uh and bone splitter like ever that'd, that'd be for everything you can give up getting like the ornithopter if you want to pay the tax on uh on esper sentinel the alternate is i can just play tracker and pass right now um but like that's so much stuff back yeah we might do it for because it's it's just, we could pass up the ornithopter versus not giving them a card. Like just get back 
the halberd picker wellspring uh bone splitter or pink buster yeah ink ink buster uh i kind of want to just go for four here now let's go for four fuck it who cares they can draw a card we're also going to draw a card off of uh picker wellspring yeah Oh, that's you fine. cast Wrath, I cast Undo. <laughs> so we get our card, we get our Halberd. And now we've got like Draw Engine with the, the Bank Buster. Yeah. And we have a pretty good attacks too. Yes. Nice. That's, oh, excellent. That's a perfect, that's like, perfect looking draw. We can we can arc bound tracker and then demand answers. And equip. Yeah, we can do everything. All right, let's go. Equip first. Uh, actually, equipping means that we can't pay the esper tax. How about I just play Tracker Pass? Yeah, we can play Tracker and then, like, use the Bank Buster. Yeah, like just... Sure. Sure. I'm actually more worried about the backside of that card. Like that's We a... do have a thing that destroys artifacts. All right. What's the backside of Blade Trap? It's like a big guy, it's a right? Five five crew one or tap two artifacts. Which at the same at the current is the same. Yeah, you can just crew with Esper Sentinel. Or tap Esper Sentinel and Rust Veil. Doing it. All right. So I craft it up. Cube. <laughs> Makes a cube. cube. <laughs> Makes the cube. I love the cube. I think it's very funny. Now let's draw a card. Hang on. Now, surely the draw three we have off demand answers means that we'll be able to, to multi spell for arc found track. That's what I'm I'm pretty sure of. Now, we're still in their main phase. I was sure that was their end step, but our opponent has had a propensity for just sitting around. <laughs> That's fine. I never like to judge people for that too much. I do. I, well, yeah, it's... There could be many reasons. Yeah, but they have a two-year-old in the room with them. Yep, there are there there are so many reasons why you might be distracted on. <laughs> Just sure, but our lands aren't destructible. <laughs> That's probably why they don't have ancient yeah. tendency to the synod yeah. in here. Play those and just get smoked. As a <laughs> The play experience on having your land disenchanted is low, and you look down at your lands and think, is Murn Forcer and Frogmite really worth it? And the answer is yes, but, um... Choose this one. And we can tap, uh... our green-white land for the tax, because we have cast our white spell. Yep. All right. Anyway. Perfect. Okay, let's load up the tracker. Now we can either equip Bone Splitter, draw a card off Bank Buster, or use our map and use Bone Splitter. I'm going to go with map plus... Actually... Putting counters on the Arcbound Trackers is 
pretty decent, so yeah. the X4 is not bad. And if we hit a non if we have a non land on top, we can double spell next turn with alloy mirror. Yep. And land gets a land out of the way, I suppose. Um, do I want to? I don't want to move in Bank Buster because like five five on their side. Yeah, but the a six four menace is pretty good. Yes. Next turn, we can, like, turn on Bank Buster, um, equivalent with Halberd, and, uh... I might put the Halberd on a mirror in force. So. Yeah, there's, those are... There's a few or, ways this can go. Yeah. We might be drawing a card off Bank Buster to power up the tracker. Who has been upgraded to, to third best creature in our deck. Uh, that is enough. I'm fine with this outcome. Yeah, this is fine. Because this is a modular creature. Um. What, Cardi? Or, okay, how big is this? Is it going to be? It was a 4-4, four, four, right? It was a 4-4, four, four, so, yeah. Yeah. Cardi B gets to become bulk. That, uh, yeah, take action, please. Anyway, it gets all of them, by the way. That's how modular works. That's very good. All right. That's sweet. Okay, so their their plan is to gain life. Sure. But if they swing in and do that, we just trade with Cardi. They're and then they they're out of in play yeah, they're then... out of cards, and we have like. Yeah. Ground Spear is very good. Because any way to boost the power of your Esper Sentinel is good. So yeah, we just, we just trade. Power modular creatures. There's a reason that our Crown Ravager is one of the scariest creatures ever printed. Uh-huh. Was sitting here thinking fake thoughts. <laughs> fact, Arcbound Ravager is probably on like the top percentile most powerful creature. Yeah. There are so many boards where like Ravager represents an impossible question. Yeah, it's just like it's a, it's a, you can have like three lands and draw and play Arcbound Ravager and just win on the spot. Yeah, and like. It doesn't stop, like... <laughs> it, it doesn't stop, like, um... <laughs> if, if you have three attackers and Ravager on the board, like, the game is still over, you know? Yeah. Let alone if it's, like, a... Uh, well, any cloth nexus or something. <laughs> the term top percentile is not being used there to imply literally like top 1%, which would put it in like, I don't know, the best like 500 creatures in magic or whatever the hell the count is right now. Yeah. Um, more, but more like, if I were to list out powerful artifact creatures, Arcbound Ravager was probably in the top five. <laughs> right? Like, I, mean, I was more saying, if you list out the list of like the top 10 creatures yes. ravager is like somewhere in the, on that list i'm not sure where uh, do we want to draw off right off bank buster i don't know what we could draw that would we would immediately want to play i'm just gonna like leave bank buster as like a, a move for the turn It's not nearly in the top 10 of most played creatures. I'm just talking pound for pound power. Okay, I gotta stop doing things. Oh, yeah, just put the boots to them. Oh, 
Amiibo Titan. What's another one? <laughs> All right. Sweet. I would have felt that. Yeah, I would. There's, 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 <laughs> we want to hold ours in case we want to demand answers because right now we're, we're, we're sacking, you know, well, I mean, it's well, we, we have our we have lands, lands we can sack, so it doesn't matter. We have a we have a a we have a catalog in our deck, though. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this should be a great draw. Merktide? I don't know about Merktide. Merktide's power is all the cards around Merktide. Not just Merktide itself. It's like Tarmogoyf. Really, Merktide and Tarmogoyf at the end of the day are just the same thing. Mm. They're just two mana very large creatures. Which, hey. That's pretty good. But... Love to be the a huge that, creature. The thing that makes Blue Red Murktide a good deck is Counterspell and uh, Preordain, you know? It's like, uh, I don't, it's been a very long time since you've probably played any Legacy at all, but what's <laughs> the worst card in Delver? Delver itself. It's Delvers. Yes. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm sitting there thinking about it. And it's like, nah, it's just Delver. Like, it's it's Delver. Uh, I remember Ryan Overturf would talk about in Delver Mirrors what he would do is just board out all his Delvers <laughs> so that um, your opponent's lightning bolts just wouldn't do anything. Now nah, Delver still plays Delver. Uh, they play Delver. They play Merktide. Delver is still the best. Uh, thing for that particular th uh, thing. It's like it, that or Nimble Mongoose, and we ain't playing Nimble Mongoose. <laughs> oh, Nimble Mongoose. Remember Werebear? I like, do remember I Werebear. Them, and that was the threat you played in, in those decks, pre Tarmogoyf eras. Yeah. Alright, we got our final bank bust here. I got a mutt. Hmm. If yep, only. I wonder if only they had held the land. But uh, one reason is uh, one reason Delver still plays Delver is they banned Dragorban. <laughs> oh, I don't think Delver is the preeminent tempo deck in Legacy anymore. It's uh. Blue Black Scaminator? Oh, it's, it's, it's Scam moved all out of Modern oh, yeah. as it's... I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, why not? That, well, thought that, multiple what people times is... What, what people figured out is that, like, in, in Modern, you have to use those dopey one-mana Scam spells, like the... Yeah, but you can just play the literal card named Reanimate. reanimate. <laughs> you can just reanimate. Yeah. And I mean, if you're going to be reanimating your uh, your grief, you may as well, like, put the tracks in your deck, <laughs> right? And it's like... So there's Blue Black Scaminator. I love that Scam has become the the descriptor for that deck. It's very important that that's... It is very important. You get Scam. <laughs> you get Scam. You get Scam. I remember when that first deck came out, everybody on Reddit said it was a meme and it was bad. And now it's gotten cards banned. That's it. I... How many cards in deck do we have? Just real quick. Uh, ten. So we're not playing uh, that. We have five turns to win. <laughs> anyway, we're doing a whole bunch of moving parts here before I go to combat. <laughs> I, I remember... I remember a lot of when, when, when Scam, you know, specifically, you know, those cards came out and it was just like, no, they're they're not real. That's that's like, and you, you can 
Uh, we can, you're gonna use the one one as an attacker, I see. Yes. We can move the bone splitter onto it and it'll be fine. Ogak, death right, Uro, Lurist, Ear Seat. Uh Bow Masters, Roger. See, Ragavan and DRC, I think, are much lower on the list than, uh, than, uh, Ravager. I, I have a hard time putting oh, Solitude oh. that high up, but yeah. uh, that's, that's a... I, I put Fury over Solitude by a country mile. Um, Loris, though, I, Loris, Uro, Hogek, I accept. Deathrite, probably. Yeah, Death Rite is. Death Rite, even still, is one of the stupidest. Death Rite's very dumb. Bowmaster is pretty good. One yeah. thing I like is that Bowmasters and Solitude are on that list that, that we have in the chat, and uh, neither of those cards are very widely played in Modern at the moment. Yeah, Bowmasters see some play in Modern. Some, so does Solitude. They both see some, yeah. but none of the, none none of the major decks play them. Like you might see a, a rogue Yogmoth player playing uh, playing Bowmasters, but not commonly. Although that might be on the uptick because there's some coffers decks that are coming up to prey on. Uh, prey on the Domain Zoo decks. And those are ring decks, and the reason that Bowmasters kind of fell out of stock is that people weren't playing the ring as much. Alright. Uh... <laughs> Which goes to show why uh, why it took people why people slept on scam so long was because everybody saw Ra the, like ragavan and murktide region and were out of their minds and is it murktide was easily the most played deck at the time and nobody knew how to kill a murktide region for some reason even though it is very very easy <laughs> uh Just sit there looking at our, my power kill can't do it help so, uh, But then people figured out how to kill Murktide Regent, and suddenly... Uh, the way we lose if we play Visions of Phyrexia is if they Wrath us again. That's basically it. Whereas this might prompt the concession. Have we been Plague Engineer yet? No. The reason being that... Uh, nobody played Infect anyways. Fun thing about Visions, by the way. Uh, we didn't play a card from Exile on the turn that we played, we played the card. It, so we got a power stone. So we get a power stone, which is, is a pretty cool part of that card. It is the best game Capcom made for the Dreamcast, so it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. I'm still waiting until we get two power stones at play, and then I can make my joke, but I don't think we're getting there. <laughs> now we gotta now we got to have the Might Stone and the Meek Stone. That's a different card. Yeah, hmm. That's my Brothers War uh, gimmick cube, which has the Power Stone, the the the, the, meat, the, the Might Stone, the Meek Stone, and the Might Stone and Arch Meek Stone in it. Archmage 521, born in the year. I think I'm okay with this. It's pretty good. It's like kind of funky, but like we have a lot to do. I have a lot to do. I can, like, demand answers the clue. Yes, which is saving mana. Mana efficiency. Oh. This is fine. We love, we love going, playing going games. through, like, going through a lot of different lines for... Ooh. Oh, yeah. To play our Kraken Hatchling and our trusty Machete, only these cards yep. are much better than the cards I just said. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> here's our Kraken Hatchling, here's our trusty Machete. I'm uh, all in on that. We get a Plunder Pirate, and then... My god, this is almost on. That's what happens when you play metal. Yeah, I'd love to have that much metal. If we draw... I don't think there's a way to get the Serpent out next turn. Man, 
Poor Plague Engineer. That guy has fallen a lot in stock. I remember when Plague Engineer was a, a card discussed as like one of the worst mistakes out of that set for. The set uh, with Hogak in it. Well, like, well, now it, well once now you, I, you know, once you get past the biggest one, the, the ones that got banned immediately. And I can't even think of a single. I, part of the reason is, in Legacy at least, Plague Engineer was great because it murdered. Uh, um. It murdered. How you say? Nemesis of not Nemesis of Mortals. The true name. True name Nemesis. Yep. Food or treasure? Probably treasure. Treasure, treasure so they can treasure for the, so they can... For the squirrel. Really? They made food. I made food. It must have like food synergies. All right. Um. Southbound, Southbound Phantasm is good. It's not one of the great strongest. Yeah, I, I, wait, very heavy disagree on that it's one. That's... Not, no, it's. I'll say it's better than Death Shadow right now. That's like... funny to say, but the 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 Surveil Lands really did make Southbound Phantasm really good. Yeah, I, which is I, I very know, funny to say. To, to 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 call that like top ten or whatever. That's that seems. Uh, Let's a... play a five six. In with the plunder. Uh, if you play, do it on the crab that unlocks both attacks. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Right oh. now, the deck that's taken over modern is uh, Domain Zoo. Playing Leyline of the Guild Pact and Scion of Draco. Yeah, the. I don't know. The, one, one, one of the things about talking about a, a, a creature that is like, if, if I'm thinking about like a top ten creature in in the game, like longevity is a point of that. Like, like, like it, 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 it can't be in my mind something that's a flash in the pan that like. Well, I would not call Scion of Draco that because who's ah oh, there we go there's why they did that yeah who's the king of that is it just Tarmogoyf because Tarmogoyf still sees play for some reason that's Tarmogoyf he's the king for him. though baby oh. what the hell are we doing here uh trying thing, to draw welding sparks this thing makes one hundred million yeah this gives like plus a million plus a million so we'll, we'll just draw welding sparks and it'll be fine. Uh. Playing that and sacking it to demand answers are almost the same. Yeah. I, I mean, Playing, we uh, discard it if we're going to do that because it's not a land drop. If we do that, then we discard Secrets of the Key. Because that's flashback. Yeah, it's like cracking the glue uh, preemptively. Let's do that. Uh. Eat your heart out, tormenting voice. Ah, uh, yeah, you play that bridge, you can play that mirror enforcer. All right. Uh, okay. No, we can't play cartographer then mirror enforcer. Because we okay. pop the... We pop the treasure. So we just that. got a combat and all out here. Like, that's fine. And we don't... We Cold can't... Familiar is pretty good. I want the... I'm, like, the double block is, like sad or whatever but we were pretty quickly yeah, this is, uh, we're killing our best creature for their two best creatures I'm, I'll call that a W yeah. my worry is specifically the plus X plus X counters from this because it makes like literally a plus 5 plus 5 yeah but we're going to draw welding sparks that's going to be fine well our opponent's going to be goddamn dead before that becomes a real issue well, hopefully right like hopefully our opponent's nah, just I'm like looking at our lack of evasion yeah I know Look how many counters are on that ravenous squirrel. Yeah, they haven't sacked anything. It's weird. They, they went the little... Sure, whatever. Cool. So we could just crush down the 4-4 four four and, and attack in. Um... That seems reasonable. Other yeah. options are to kill their flyer preemptively, make them put their guys I mean, on a. 
If we did that, I'd want them to put the things on the flyer because this is killable, like, with it. Like, the other line, I think, in my mind would be, like, Bone Splitter equip Pirate in with the bone, the the two creatures there, and then, like, play out Great. some more metal. That make, That's pretty good, too, actually, because then they they probably will put the counters on the Ornithopter then. If we do that, then I want to go Companion first. Because it would be, like, Companion... And then we could, like... Map onto Enforcer. Yeah. If we draw land off it, that's cool. I don't... Ah, we can put that in the graveyard easily. For the dance of the main. And then Bone Splitter on the Pirate. And now... We present a lethal attack. A lethal attack that also uh, has like. Love that. Okay, that's good. That's optimal. So the good thing there is that if they go with a flyer, like if they if they if they decide, okay, they go with the. Uh, they go with a guy. Sure. The problem is I don't think this is gonna attack. Yeah, I can't attack because it just walks into a Ooh, crap. What the hell do you do? Sack of food, put one counter. Sack of food, draw one, lose one. That's cards. Baby. That's way too much text. Okay, they're gonna draw two cards. No, they're putting counters on. They're just going straight up to like. Ah, but they're gonna go to five power. But that is not enough. They're walking directly into our trap. Hopefully, they just leave up the the two activation for the sack draw. Or are they gonna keep going further? If they do go up above, then okay. No, now six. Okay, they're just going like all in on sacking all their. Okay, so now we just need to find a way to get them for five, which is harder than okay. it sounds, but, you know. Now, what we need them to do is overcommit into an attack. Like, the squirrel is a good attack. I think we just take five. Here. Yeah, I'm just taking five. Surprise no counters went on the Ornithopter. Okay, I like that. Um... Demand answers off our treasure. Yeah, and then they still have two food left, so that's two sacks off this. Um, they don't want to be drawing a card and losing a life off of this. Alright, yeah, so let's go sack an artifact, eat our treasure. Okay. How many interventions are there? There's heroic intervention. Uh, okay, I think I'm just gonna go like equip on Blade Master and then pass it back. The idea here is that like we can present two lethal attackers. Ah, uh, that's a food. Hopefully we. Uh, one of the things here is that it is also hard to, like, get a lethal attack against a person who controls, like, 12 food. Hopefully they, yeah. like, overcommit to, like, sack Now they're going to draw cards and... Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. They crack that for life and then draw. And then the other foods they might... <laughs> oh, <they're> <laughs> you know, if that's the only card they draw for the rest of the game, they're probably in, like, an incredible position, right? Like... Heroic Intervention, Intervention of Perforos, Intervention of Erebos... Is there a Heliod intervention? Is there a Cure intervention? That'd be who it would be if it was one of the. I don't know for sure though. Uh, We're finally putting counters on the Ornithopter of Paradise. Ah, uh, there is Divine intervention. That's an old card. Okay, so. That's for legends. We're gonna block. Take two. There's a split card that's like some other I word in intervention. Because intervention, that was like a four mana lightning helix. I'm thinking about this because we're totally dead and I can't think of how we get out of it. That's what I'm thinking about. Um. So, a removal spell can't get rid of either can, of those. It can kill Ornithopter or Ornithopter, depending on what mode you pick. I could, like, equip the Cartographer's Companion and try to push in that way. 
I might be crack the um clue crack and then the play clue. the yeah. Welding sparks. Okay, I got Ooh, it. Ooh, okay. That's actually a good one because that could represent a like a menacing threat. Yeah, that could work. So they... The problem is they have way... Like, they have all the food in the world, so they have all the life yeah. now. And by all the food, we mean they have one. Well, their deck has shown a propensity to be able to, to make food from anything, and they also have the squirrel to be able to, like, fake being food. Like, it can sack anything to draw a card and gain a life, I think, is it? Yeah. Three sack anything, draw a card, gain a life. They're going to leave two blockers behind, so the tracker doesn't do anything. Yeah. If we can give it first strike trample, and it won't matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Glad that just whiffs. Um... This sucks because... I'm gonna lose, but it's gonna take like four turns. I know, right? Like we're we're, <laughs> we're so very uh, slow on being able to get out of this, or, or you know, if if even. Um, we have to draw welding sparks. That kills Greta, but there's still the eight eight. Yeah, we have another... a giant that can surprise lethal, but. We need them to overcommit into an attack, but they've been very conservative. Okay, there was a Thassa Center Yeah, this blue blue card blue, I, blue, this is even blue, a card blue I played a lot. Blue blue X yeah. either impulse or or count or uh spell blast. Not spell, blast. Yeah, uh, spell uh, condescend. Condescend. I don't know. Uh, any of those power sync, you know. What is... Okay. I want to look up what Condescend without the scry is called, because that showed up in a core set at one point. Has it? Yeah. It was like, power sync is like the... And syncopate are the two I think of, and those actually still... Flash of Wills. Damn, okay. From Magic Origin. All right. So, Secrets of the Key and stuff. They made a worse Condescend and still made it an uncommon. Eat That's incredible. Condescend. That's incredible. Condescend is so good. Condescend is so good. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Um. Looks like I'm gonna be changing up what I'm blocking with here, but, uh. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to dance out a murder enforcer. That is a not actually one, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, we're a little short of. Uh, if we draw untapped land, we aren't. If we keep the alloy in here. <laughs> yeah. Problem is sweet tooth, which means our our. Oh yeah, we're totally dead. Yeah, um, we, have, we have some we can, problems. We can, we, can, we can go down. Ah, but you have broken the uh, the Price is Right rules and the uh, and the question because it's not counting bovine <laughs> intervention. So you have, by guessing nineteen, you have gone one over and thus lost. Good day. Oh, the, uh, they did not use the witch to damage us. Wow. Oh wait, but didn't Wicked Roll give Trample? Nah, it gives plus one plus one, and when this roll goes to the graveyard, um, one one, one damage. Yeah. All right, so we block with Arcbound Tracker here, and if they attack with another, we block with Mirror Enforcer. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make a wild guess. I think our opponent is stream sniping. No. They wouldn't make. Nah, he, they wouldn't hear make me this out. Attack. They they put the the count. They put the roll on the Ornithopter, 
the one creature we can kill with fiery intervention and the turn they played greta they instead of drawing cards with it they got it to six power and toughness i i don't believe that i never make this accusation that that's that's but i'm waggling my finger nah <laughs> um i think we just yeah we're we're fucked oh no we're fine <laughs> okay, we put we put our counters on Alloy Mirror. We we put our faith in Alloy Mirror. Wait, in what world is intervention Oh trap not a intervention? That's pretty bad. Pretty bad. We're, we're, we're being betrayed by Gulpal. How could we, of all Gulpal? people, be betrayed by Gulpal? I, I have, I have, cap I, I, I have trained. How up many Gulpals have we burst? How so many? many, so many Gulpals. I believe dozens, it. scores, hundreds, hundreds. So many Gulpals. Right, we still have those. It's fine. We'll just draw an untapped land. Fine. Island off the tap. We will just simply draw. An untapped land. And if we draw an untapped land, we're fine. All we need to do is draw an untapped land. Um. So bad news. Um, we draw an untapped land. We did not draw an untapped land. You can still dance for five. Yeah, the problem is it's the difference between like having enough of a body board to win the game and lose when these are all. Uh, that should be X is four. We just needed untapped land. Then that would be four fours. Mm hmm. Which would be threatening. You were right on the, 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 um, amount of time it was going to take for us to lose this game. Ah. It was an eternity. Because our opponent's threats are all big ground pounders without trample. Right, they, they, there's, there's no evasion happening here, and it's like, well, here's... Okay, they're, they're just gonna activate their witch in combat, I guess. Well, they don't have any food. Oh, yeah, that witch is just a 3-2. Uh, okay, we just have to get 13 power on our Ornithopter. Yeah, that's fine. We can put four on it, so there's nine more. We have like a, like an Embercleave, right? Uh, yeah, we have a Hatred. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news about <laughs> hatred. Um. Yeah, hatred wouldn't be enough. Yeah. You have a berserk. You have a silver bluff ridge. Ah, that is so close to a tap spire bluff now. That is so close to a tap that spire bluff. So now. close. I believe in your Ornithopter of Paradise. I don't. It can only be one. The true Ornithopter. The Halberd wielding Ornithopter. We take one for this. <laughs> Ever think about in, how in Highlander they cast a French be a Scots that's Egyptian? I'm just thinking about Canadian Highlander. Canadian Highlander pretty good. Highlander 2 pretty bad.
Okay, that one only took like six years. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Wait, what are we getting for prize packs for this? Probably don't. It's probably like cheap, cheaper to enter, but you just get stuff. Yeah, it that's must all be. Up. Like that's all cube. Well, no, no, right? no. This one was um, this one was full price. Oh, maybe they give you like weird. standard packs or just like shit. I don't know. Yeah, weird. I'll take a look at it after this because it's like I didn't. Hey, even we're think about, about to find that. out. <laughs> Didn't even think about it. All right. Let us, uh... Yeah, this one's sweet. This is pretty good. It's not Phantom? What? <laughs> oh. Oh. That's... I... All right. Shoutouts to Alchemy, I guess. Huh. All right, well, whatever. Song Shaper gets to... push. We get to go towards our. You're not going to send in the crab? No. Um, what is this? Probably shipwreck sentry here, actually. Yeah, we, we so that the seek the the clue can send them in next turn. Yes. Okay. We draw right. lead. We could cartographer. Yeah. Sure. Hopefully, we draw island. Draw land, welding sparks their play, attack for. I don't know. Crack clue. Crack clue. Tap land. Yeah, tap land would have been preferable to be able to attack for three there, but. Okay. Okay, so good. Let's... That reminds me, I saw a freaking oiled common creature that had me thinking about Witch Stalker. Like the rate on the common three mount three mana or a uh, common four mana creature is so good these days. Giant beaver. The one that has is like it, saddle. It's a up. four mana four four vigilance with saddle three and when it attacks while saddled put a counter on the saddled creature. That's so above rate. That is so huge. Equip. Detective, Detective Crab is on the case. Okay, they got a food and a power stone. Ooh. Trail of crumbs. This one's good. That's a good one. I played a lot of that deck in standard. Mm -hmm. Along with that, the other wolf. Um... Outpost Siege. Yeah, Outpost Siege gets us a a, a a token here. Yeah. Immediately gets us a mount. Like, Outpost Siege that immediately ramps? Yes, please. Because I want to set up for, like, a, a big Arcbound Tracker turn. Man, this gets us everything you could want. Minstr minstrosity! Minstrosity. And another... Okay. That's pretty good. Their mana is going to be taxed, though, so we can apply the squeeze. Yeah, Serpent wants... We, we do our stuff for free. Okay. Um, I could go Halberd Wait, we... and see Gear Seeker? You can go Tracker Halberd. We have the Power Stone, so we can cast True. artifact spells. I like how get, uh, like getting Halbert in there is nice, and then we also could not to get another, the like. Yeah, if you want to get another Power Stone. No, I like pushing them with this. That's yeah, a it's a. Uh, and they, they have the, they have the mana for it too. I'm not gonna. They have the mana for it, but not the. But they can only trail of crumbs once, it's okay. No, they can trail of crumbs twice. Power stone can pay for it. Now they have to 
if they it did costs, it with... oh yeah they have Ali Mur yeah okay so they yeah. did both which I'll probably just do just to do it I think and step they'll just gain three and tr trigger one trail you know <laughs> okay hello oh that card needs to die that's the welding sparks target okay good to know we just discard the alloy mirror. Yeah, alloy mirror. Yeah. Or the companion. Either. It's... We do like mana because of our. We have cards, so getting mana is good. But mm. the cartographer's companion is also metal. Okay. Our tech with the trackers, kid. Oh, the horses. Okay. <laughs> we have no artifact creatures. Do you want a modular onto Alloy Mirror? I'll decline. Thank you very much. Old abilities are so sick. I know. No luck. Can you imagine a graft creature on Maga? How that would how that would feel? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna power stone out of that. Um This turn's actually really awkward. Like it's just just welding sparks the herald. Yeah, there's no other play. We're, we're stuck on anything else we can do. We can put the splitter on the on the rebel though. Or attack with both. What is Herald's activation? A uh, two sack and artifact minus two minus two, so they can kill the halberded creature. If they so choose here. We are fresh out of things to do. Uh, do we cr crack clue? We can, we can crack clue looking for land. It makes our your secret go down, but we're going to get uh, a power one stone. mana from the land and a power stone anyways, so it's fine. Okay. Power stones help fix this up. Another fight? Yep, another fight. Alright, we want to get these big creatures in play here just to get us some damn, uh... Really? Yeah, they're they're ready to fight. No, 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 the alloy mirror didn't come in. That is mana for I guess. trail crumbs. I guess we're, yeah. <laughs> and the witch. Seems to be a popular strategy, picking Sweet Tooth Wit Witch. Yeah, having the burnout. Okay. Well, uh... May as well play the one from hand, just yeah, to get the Power Stone. If we get the Power Stone, then it's the same thing. This opens up Drawing Mance. Okay. We can play Giant. Cannot quite play Alloy Mirror. You can put the axe on the giant, though. Yeah. I don't know. That's if... pretty cool. Is it going in here? Uh. I feel like if we're winning, we actually do need to. They're going to be beating us on cards. And they have us on a clock with the witch. This is a third of their life total. Like this. Conceivably, they could double block here. That's fine. And that gets the witch off the table, taxes their mana. Because we still have the, the visions to try to like make up for card yeah, advan we... card disadvantage here. And that was actually card advantage. Oh no, are we losing our We're losing our visions, right? 
Absolutely. Yeah, there's no way. All right. <laughs> and, it's just a, and it's just a 6-6. Six, six. And it's a 6-6. Six, six. The cleanup crew, I said this when we saw it in, like, the first pack. Uh, wild in this format because of, you know, being a distant champ. Um, uh, okay. So, bad news is... Do they kill us if we attack? I think so. Yes, well, it's... Is it, is it true Root Wallet is a plus two plus two, or what is it plus three plus three for the Hollow Scavenger? Plus two plus, plus, two, plus two. two. Okay, that is that is uh, 12 damage. Or no, 11 damage. So they do kill us if we attack. That is legal damage. How do we get out from under this? Clay? That's what I'm trying to figure out because we're this Gear Seeker Serpent represents like the last real threat in our deck, right? Like, yes. yeah. Okay, we're learning about this format. Uh, I think what we've learned is your deck needs to have a strong synergy to be like good. Yeah, we well for one, our, well our deck we 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 knew that for one our our draft was a little bit of a bust anyway on the on like yeah, we, we, on, we on the felt... navigation, but like yeah. the, the the synergies in here are very strong. We've seen the food deck so much. Yeah, food deck seems well. The food deck is assembled from commons, like fierce witch stalker plus sweet tooth witch. That's mm. just like two common cards, the Hollow Scavenger, another common card. And then it's accentuated by these uh, uncommons. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I want to, I wanted to build, like, either, like, a, like, Gruel Aggro or even Boros Aggro with, sure, that's fine. I do want to win with this Gear Seeker Serpent. That's where I'm planning on getting this game over. Like, they're just doing a bunch of, like, spinning wheels over there. If they yeah, keep they doing keep... that... It's gonna be hard to kill them, though, because they're gonna be able to gain life off that investigation. I know, I know. But that, keep, that lets them use their food and gain life. Take this trade because it keeps scan. Yes. Sadly, now that he is a creature, he has summon sickness, so he cannot draw at the card. I know, but I, 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 sitting here with what I see, the Gear Seeker Serpent is the only out I see to like victory. Yeah, and if we lose, he's the queen, and we need to, we have to save the queen. Yeah. So. That's rough. We can use our power stones, though. Okay, we have two power stones, so you can make the thing you were going to make. I only have three power stones. I'm, I'm, I pa I'm past it. I, you I, missed I, the I, window. I missed, I missed my power stone two joke. Okay. We've got about one turn. If that. Although, removal seems pretty primo in this format. We've not seen a lot of removal spells. Well, we saw a ton in red. Like, we, so we passed up like two shocks, two welding sparks. Um, the I mean, deal just, five, like, 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 I'm, I'm just in this draft. We haven't seen a lot of removal. We've, we've seen, we've seen some good ones like the gulpal, but mm. we just haven't, we haven't seen them played very often. Maybe, maybe because the decks have to be synergistic. They don't have, uh, they don't have a, like room in the deck for removal. Okay. Okay. Well, 
Dance for four. Wait, we have. Uh, try dance for three. six. Do we have that much mana? Yes. You're right, we do. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. In <laughs> a right. short list of ways we get out of this game, <laughs> certainly on the list. Yep. <laughs> Oh, that's good looking. We have this, and we have the Gear Serpent being able to punch in. And we have Visions of Phyrexia as a 4-4. Four -four. I forgot to yes. make it in enchantments too. Which is silly because I played it with uh, Doom Foretold. Oh, we, have, we, have, we are putting our opponent uh, under threat now. Even if the threat is just Gear Seeker Serpent with a bunch of blockers backing. Um, like... Do we map on Serpent now? Yeah. Land off the top. That's a. That's fine. That's an above average draw. Because it might get us double spell, which matters. Yeah, double spell for their 7 7 arc bound tracker. This is a very good board, and we are able to, like, get in for lethal in a turn or two here. Yeah. Suddenly. Sudden. Talk about cards that us. <laughs> yeah, the 11-4 the summoning sickness DJ. Pretty sad, but... Now I'm, like... We gotta find that Sega Dreamcast 2. Power yeah. You can find the Power Stone cubed. Power Stone square. You know what? What's I would have been worried about that a lot, uh, you know, earlier. Now we have Archon Tracker, who is going to be nine power minimum with, with, with First Strike and Trample. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can block that if we want. Oh, no, we, we don't want to, though. We actually have the problem where we can't. Nope, Visions of Phyrexia is not an artifact. Yeah. We I... can block it. Right, I just... I might block it next turn. Yeah. Sure. So our opponent's life total is 23. So we get our Icar Wellspring Exile... Let's just go ahead and play it. Oh, that's a pant load. Okay, so then... Tawashi? No. Yeah, Tawashi gets it, I think. Yeah. Put that on the Tawashi, and then we put... Uh, Bone Splitter on. Also on Tawashi, I think. Because there's Trample. It's like either that or Arc Bound. For the Menace. If they're blocking it, they're double blocking it, and like it, it, it already okay. kills. We have like... to do math. Um. What happens if we attack with all creatures except Ornithopter of Paradise? If we attack with all creatures except Ornithopter of Paradise, our combat is 20... 31 with two blockers. They could block either double block Archbound Tracker. They could... It's more effective to block two four power creatures. So, they, so 31, they would take eight. Hold on. They're dead. I can gain three life from food. Dead. That's what I had. That's what I was thinking. Dead. They were up to 20, but I was also thinking that can't we do an arbitrarily large amount of damage? <laughs> um, Because if they double block Arcbound Tracker, they take 24 and die. If they block two 4-4s, four they take 23. 
which happens to be their life total after eating a food when they have two mana to eat. No, fuck. They can eat two food. Why? They have power. No, oh, okay, they don't have power. They tap their power stone. Okay, I saw their yeah, clues. Yeah. And the clues with the amulet looks kind of like a power I know. Stone. It's... Dance of the Mance! <laughs> okay. How do you beat long-term incremental card advantage? By casting one card that wins By the casting game. one card that <laughs> wins the game. Thanks, Dance. <laughs> Thinking how funny it is that I love asking what's your life total. What's your life total? It's an important question and something that you absolutely should think about with, like, uh, especially in positions like that. The the pause to like, wait a minute, like. <laughs> Fun questions to have your opponent ask you are: What's your life total? Uh -huh. How many cards do you have in hand? And how many <laughs> lands do you control? <laughs> like, those are all, those are all questions that. No matter what your answer is, you know something bad is about to happen. Cards and deck? Yeah, how many cards do you have? Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Speaking of, Mill is playing Glimpse the Unthinkable again. I've That's right, everybody. I've seen a Hedron Crab with the doubler. Uh, which doubler? The, the two or less power. Hmm, I never saw that. That's cool. Uh... Mm. Now on the surface, this looks like a... Actually, it looks like a mulligan no matter what. Okay, this is much better. Okay. I'll do this. Yeah. Um, play a Slagwood Bridge. I don't want to... No, no, no. It's fine to play the Slagwood Bridge first. Because we absolutely could just like play Blade Master and get a token or Halberd. We, like, we have Halbear. Ooh. Alright, we got food. Food like I, I don't understand Shipwreck Sentry. Like. Why it's a Sentry that can't. We can play Bridge and Halbear here. Yeah, that seems good. It's like, why is a pirate stuck in place? Why does having an artifact enter the play make the pirate no longer so, stuck in place? So to, like, to me, I think of it as they, they, they are the defender of the, the boat that they landed with. But yeah. once, a, once like, a goodie shows up, then they chase it, after it. And then the greed pulls them away? Yeah. Uh, we could just slam out post siege. That lets us mirror enforcer next turn. You are considering the merits of attacking. Yeah. Yeah, Outpost Siege seems really good right at Oh shit. Oh that's a, good that's a that's a that's a card that wins games right here. This is a card that's I I, I put back into my cube recently. For some reason Morla Rogue lets anything uh Can we have removal for it? Yeah. Okay, Cartographer's Companion is two pieces of metal. So we we can go companion into Mirror Enforcer. We could go. No, I'm, I was trying to think if we could go like break. I mean, well, it's back. either alloy mirror and mirror enforcer or companion and mirror enforcer. You could also hold back the companion for the power stone. Yeah. But they're making the plays that beat tapping out on four to play a draw engine, which is like a bunch <laughs> yeah, of creatures. Yeah, I was just saying, <laughs> beating ass. Yeah, we have made a land drop, so the map's pretty good. Um, let's put Mirror Enforcer above the one. That card's uh, sweet, though. Mm. Card's pretty good. We can't double. No, we can double spell. We, if we draw a land, we can double spell. But I'm we can put it in the graveyard for Mance. That's what I'm thinking. Is that like 
right now we need to like operate on a couple turns here where we are a bit more mana efficient and yeah. threes don't cut it. Yeah, we're the other thing we have is just uh, evasive creatures. Also, yeah. Whirler Rogue with food tokens. Just, you know, yeah. Mm. yeah. They, they know how to they do sack, this. And they sack one, they draw, they, mm -hmm. they draw off of it. And they, they can trail crumbs. And they, they, this is what we call an engine. Yeah. They are also four color. Hidden stockpile. They've revealed hidden stockpile, which is certainly their white splash. Also, that will go off because, uh, yeah, all right, we are. Okay. I don't know that we're getting out of this one. Um. Too many evasive threats. We need the Whirler Rogue dead, like, yesterday. Yeah, but we can't make five mana. No, we can't. Because what they, what they have on board is they can five, make it unblockable. They can kill us. We're dead next turn. We're, and we're deadsies. Because, like, they can, um... Like they make the scavenger unblockable after after root walling. Yeah. They just like attack with all creatures. But, yeah. So they go they go uh, make the scavenger unblockable. Attack in for uh, hell. They can make oh! ooh, okay. ooh, 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 ooh. nasty. Uh, I, was know, I I don't think we're going to defeat this superior opponent by no. casting one spell. <laughs> no. Um. So the, 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 they had a line that we were dead to anyway, where they could make two creatures unblockable by tapping like alloy mirror and this and being unblockable, unblockable, unblockable. Or they could go five, six, seven, eight, then sack a creature to trigger the wicked roll for nine or uh, any number of act. Like we're we're dead in like six ways. They 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 should have us toasted. They, they misclicked and made the wrong whirler rogue unblockable, but it, it doesn't matter. And they also still have the draw engine and the servo engine and the the overrun engine. Oh, Knight of Sweet's Revenge is also a huge card. Anyway, guess what? You thought I was dead? Alright, we need to kill them this turn. Okay, they, we, we need to take advantage of their mis, of their misclick somehow. Yes. Maybe Mountain will be the way. Okay, we had to draw Giant this turn and we didn't. Yeah, it was like... 15 with this board, we need a giant plus bone splitter, maybe or like, like we need a bone splitter, we need like a demand answers and the bone splitter giant. Well, let's let's uh, let's, get, die with dignity. let's get some fourth quarter points on the board, you know. Yeah. Make this, uh, make this, uh, you know, 28 7 game look a little bit more, uh. <laughs> Go Vikings! Skull! Skull! <laughs> yeah, we were down by three scores, but we brought it to four. We brought it to 17 28 by the end. <laughs> we're dead. I feel good about scrounging up the games we did, uh,. I, that, that dance victory was quite fun. The, the dance was really the the the, the soul of this deck. In, in, right. But yeah, we, we had to look at we had to look at our thing. Oh, we went four three. That's well, pretty damn good for not knowing what the hell we were doing. Yeah, we get our our entry back basically, fourteen hundred. I want to take a closer look at the card pool just to so like we we have a a again like just talking about like synergies. We have a lot of synergistic. I'm liking white aggro though. Like, look at like tool graphic exemplar is obviously a rare, but like we have some good one drops. Yeah, we but, three, but, but even like or... even like mandible uh, just a car with like glint sleeve artisan or uh, or the Smith. modular creatures, because like mm -hmm. modular in this format's really strong, and we also have a lot of equipment around. Um, the um, blue, I was like we weren't heavy in blue, but we had both us and our opponents had a lot of like powerful effects within blue especially like synergistic stuff crew made out of an opponent crab did a lot of work the fact that oaken yeah. siren exists at all is like 
pretty good. Yeah. Um, There's uh, Moon Snares, also very good. Yeah, Serpent obviously won us so many of our games. The fact that World of Rogue exists as a deck in Wait a of second. itself. One of these cards is on a different power level than the rest of them. Actually, Zahid is probably better in yeah. this format. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Zahid, like, because this, like, what it's probably flashing black blood, like a stern lesson. I don't know. Like, also, wait, no, one of these cards is one on a way different level than the rest of these. I just saw it. Holy shit. <laughs> how much money you pay? How much money did we pay? So, I want you all to think about this. When we saw, we play, we, when we, we saw Mirror Forcer, Mirror Forcer. What we was the mana cost? Two mana Usually it was two. We played it for one once. I think we so. played it for zero once as well. So uh, that's a that is a one mana thought monitor that we we have assembled. Yes. I I I'm, I I actually think Reality Heist is good in this format. And I in, was in so, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This card yeah, kind of sucks. I passed it up. I think five times because of my memory of it. In in because I remember this card being just garbage not, in that format it's not that good in this format though one of the big thing you have is the bridges like the, the fact that yeah you the, lands like if you have a bunch of those going on um deadly dispute obviously deadly good. Dispute, cast huge. down and, uh, cast down yes <sighs> the artifact the art because go for the throat would be too bad we got cast down as just doom blade <laughs> gopal the if betrayal, thought, thought betrayal monitors, by gopal thought monitor is absolutely this is absolutely a mole drifter this is like a, a so it's a two it's a two two that draws two cards with flying it's a mole drifter. I, i've talked about the like that like three by three square of like the the radical mole drifter the you know the, that sort of thing and, uh, and this is very close to just a mole drifter like, it's it's Mold Drifter that it because it also has a high mana cost but a reduced cost in one of its casting modes. Yes. That's the that's that's Mold Drifter. Yeah. Like. Yeah, Black here also has a lot of like uh ooh, false courage. Damn. Uh a lot of removal bits, a lot of a lot of food bits. Actually very yeah. heavy on the food bits. Scuff Divinity card, Vault Scourge. Uh, red we saw has like super aggro tools, the rabbit battery, the combat, uh, the tube raider. We saw a lot of the we saw like I think it was we saw two voltaic surge, um, a copy of the Ooh, goblin engineer. Oh, just engineer, huh? Oh. I don't know what you're doing with that. Yeah. I, uh, wait, can you look for uh, Phyrexian dragon engine? It would Mitra's be... in here, so Dragon Engines. There it is. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you somehow assemble those two rares, you win the game. Yeah. What? Gobl well, Engineer, uh, Dragon Engine does not care about it being unearthed. Only that it entered the battlefield from the graveyard. Yes. So flipping it back and forth with Goblin Engineer, you draw three cards every turn. And then green has like a. We, so what? If you want to know the turning point in the draft, where I, I said I should have gone Gruel. That point was the I think moment that, uh, we, we saw. Uh, um, like in, I think it was Briarbridge Patrol, actually. Like the pig was like obviously no, a strong cinder. No, no, no. I was thinking it was. Um, where's this? Where's the idiot? Where's uh, uh, oh, Sarnath Steelseeker yes. down there? Yeah, Sar Sarnath Steelseeker. I think this was when we should have turned. Now, this card was powerful enough to to push us. Like I think this was uh, what mid pack, early pack two, right? Like yeah. We, now, Mind Goblin is not in here. That's on paper nope. and MTGO only. How would you ever? Although there are two different cards. Mind Goblin is like wild. The fact that it's Arcanist Owl and Dance of the. And Arcanist Owl is very good, by the way. It is very good. So, uh, Mind Goblin was a card in Paper Legacy. It is one of the insane cards from. Unfinity uh, that is Unfinity that is somehow legal uh, and black good. bordered. Uh, so like Goblin's decks in paper, we're playing Mind Goblin. Uh, but you got to pick its mana thing before, like the printing of the card works a specific way that cannot be implemented on MTGO. But they wanted to go out of their way to implement it in MTGO so that there would be parity between paper and digital legacy. But right. they made Mind Goblin 
work off dice rolls because the actual implementation of the card is different in paper and the fact it is one of the only times that a card in paper and in client are actually different yeah so the card's not called mind goblin it's called blank goblin it, so, and it so shows it, up so, in scryfall as as like name sticker goblin. It's, so name sticker goblin is the name of the card on mtgo um in paper the card has when this card comes into play um put a name sticker on it and the way name stickers work as far as how you are able to play them in constructed is you get a deck of 10 name stickers out of the 48, I believe, that exist. Um, and at the beginning of the game, you get three of them at random that are viable for that game. Um, so you pick the 10 that have the bo- the words with the most vowels in them. Um, so that Mind Goblin creates a red mana for each vowel. Uh, the way that the math on it works out from memory is that there are there's one six vowel word, counting Y. There's two fives, maybe three fives. And then six fours, and that leaves you with nine. And so your last sticker is is irrelevant because it's like below four. And all all the stickers can do that. So the the um optimal obvious one is to take the sticker that has mind as your uh as your sticker, so that you can play the card and then put mind as the sticker to uh do the to you know mind goblin your opponent if you're in a winning position. But, uh, I say I say optimal as though you know that that has the op- but, uh, optimal, but but in um, but you don't get to choose the sticker air quotes. But the way the the way it's implemented on MTGO is you roll a d twenty. Yeah, you roll a dice, and then on like the ratios that I just said, it gives you that much mana based on the optimal one in paper. Now this changes the way that the card works because in paper you get to know the stickers that are available on turn zero, like you know them immediately. So when you play your your blank goblin, you know that it is giving you five mana, or you know that it is giving you five, four mana, or you know that it is giving you six mana. You know when you're playing it, so you can plan out, ah, this is enough for me to play, and then, uh, like, I don't right. know, Muxus, or, or whatever, whatever yeah, you call Yeah, whereas with mind goblin, you don't know you don't whether know, you're gonna get Muxus or not. You don't know until um, it resolves on MTGO. Uh, <laughs> Infinity was a mistake. I... I uh, I am of the opinion that making those making the cards in Unfinity not silver border and legal in in uh, like eternal formats was I, incorrect. I, but I, I think I, it's a it's a wider pattern of mistakes. I I I think it's just non standard legal sets being in Legacy is the mistake. The, the, right, it, it's it's right because it's not just this. It's like initiative. It's, it's every other pile yeah, of thing. every other EDH mechanic that but made. Legacy words. But there's so but, but no, there's no mind goblin in this cube though. No, nah, no mind goblin. There's Karn. Nah, we did get god. to talk about Oh my I god. Get, I did think you go on like a five month yeah. Karn sign of when they wait, is Karn the Great Creator hey. also here? Hey, he is here. Uh Karn Legacy Reforged. This is yeah. the one, uh this one's actually quite good. Uh there's also hanger back. Here, hangy be uh hanger back, but not walking. Hey, hold, hold on. We okay, we got mirror enforcer. No, no, frog no froggy? No frog might. No frog might. I mean, okay. To and be no fair. No great creator either. To be fair. Bothering your... Frog might yeah. is the uh, the bigger, like... Be criminal, yes. Criminal there. Yeah. Yeah, boat. You can get a boat. You can get a boat. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with there not being a worm coil because, like, worm coil is... um Every deck can play this card that it instantly wins the game. Whereas, like, Cityscape costs enough that you have to, like, work for a thing like this. Yeah, Mystic Forge, too. Hell yes. Ooh. Anyway. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, do we got in Soul? We, there's no way we have in Soul. That's way too. In Soul Artifact. We, or that stick. Yeah. The stick from, uh, from, what's that set called? The, the Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Anyway, that was a mind goblin uh, uh, Tan- digression. Yeah, let's, let's let's. And now we got some more apples. Oh yeah, it is. I, he, ah, it's Speaking it's. Speaking of it's, Gate, it's facts. Three different wizards. Three wizards are here for you. Of different power levels too. Oh, I thought this was uh, for a second. I, I was thinking of uh, uh, the the other draw artifact. The uh, uh, 
Palantir? The the the, the a Palantir of Orthnak. Like it's 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 like real. It's, it's actually really powerful, but overshadowed by the ring as a card. Yeah. IMO. Very true. Um. I got the alchemy version of of Eyes of the Beholder and Eyes of the Beholder. Ah, third toughness. There is a deck that plays uh, Palantir of Orthnak, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense once you realize... Do you know the text of the card? Calibrated Blast. Maybe not. It's a Modern Horizons 2 card. The, the, there's, the, a very the, silly, the, there's a very silly deck that plays Calibrated Blast. The, the, and, they, and they realized, wait, if that's what my deck is, maybe Palantir is good because they always have to give me the card. Uh, it's two in a red for instant reveal the top card of your library until you reveal non-land. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the explosive. Um... And then when, you, when a non-land is revealed this way, it deals damage equal to its mana value to any target. It's yeah. got flashback five. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you the actual text of it, but I knew it was erratic explosion. Yeah. I could, I, so, like from from the name, it's 100% erratic explosion. But So, uh, okay, that's fine. Calibrated, calibrated Blast decks, they play Witch's Cottage. Uh, Scion of Draco, uh, Shadow of Mortality, and Immercrawl. <laughs> and, nah, and, and you just blast them for 15. And uh, the fun thing about Palantir is, uh, I'm just going to keep scrying those to the top. <laughs> you want to... Uh, all right. Well, that was weird artifact draft format. I guess yeah, I found a bunch of cards from it. That was neat. This, this format's not bad at all. Yeah, that was, like, I'm a fan of them just having, like, strange curated formats for me to play on here. Like, that's yeah, it's, it's a thing that digital cards have over paper cards? Not really. But in this sense, yes. Yeah. Uh, you this, know, is, this is a different experience from Cube that would be difficult to replicate in paper. Yeah, this which, definitely which makes it a good use case. So, uh, yeah. Alright, well, thank you all for joining in. Thank you, Numbitten, for jumping on. I'm Numbitten. Alright, uh, with that, uh, I'm off for the night. I'll catch you tomorrow for Dragon Warrior Wednesday. Um, yeah. So, Tiny Bones is in the cowboy set. Right there. Yeah, Tiny Bones is a little criminal. His bones are tiny. Tiny Bones. Good night, everybody. <laughs>